Hey, this bitch, I'm lit like a trick. Suck my dick, ho. You don't want to try me. What's good, nigga? Okay, today, you ready for my boy Symphony? Uh, dating in 2023, down bad edition. I'm, I'm gonna speak on for me a little bit. Uh, dating for me is like, mm, it happens, and then it doesn't happen, and it's about to happen, and then it doesn't happen for me. So, I kind of took a break on this shit because, like, honestly, like, and, it, and it, I ain't really worried about it, but I'm like, I'm 19, but like, I don't be worried about dating right now. I'm trying to get my shit right, you know what I'm saying? Get out everything situated. So, that's me right now. But I don't know, that might change in the future. Who knows? I'm, she changes in a month, for real. So, let's get into this video. Going on dates in 2023 is terrible. I have some horrible experiences with dating. And I swear to God, I feel like dating don't even exist anymore. I remember when there was a time where you would actually court women, you know, take them out. Nowadays, you talk to them once or twice. Y'all hey, yo, you have sex, bro. Boom, you in a situation shit. Y'all skipping the, the dating bro. phase. It's like that shit don't even exist. Niggas talking about, oh, we talk now. It's what the fuck? What is talking? What is we talking, was talking bro? when I met you. I feel like women want you to completely skip the getting to know them phase and building the foundation and jump straight into relationship shit. And there ain't no goddamn way I'm finna do that. I just want to get to know you, shorty. What's your favorite color? What food you like? I mean, shit. Can we actually spend time with each other? Now, I'm not going to cat. I'm definitely getting to know women right now in hopes of dating and having a relationship. So I do feel like at some point I'm going to be like, all right, what are we doing? Like, I'm not about to wait all a whole right. year or anything. But, God damn, can we take two or three months at least to talk about it? Going so aesthetic. Dates, You're so aesthetic. You're so aesthetic. Oh, my other. God. See what it's like to be with each other in person? Yo, Sean, I ain't going to lie, Sean. I was listening to everything you said, Sean. And that's your facts. Your boy Tyrone been having hey, terrible man. dating experiences, son. Let me tell you about the other day, son. So your boy Tyrone was swiping on Tinder. You know your boy Tyrone be on that Tinder, y'all. And I was swiping right now. I eventually got a match on this girl. And her name was Trinity. Now, I'm not going to cap. When I first saw her name, I said, hold on, this bitch from the Matrix? But then your boy Tyrone got the risen the rough. You know he put them sweet words on her, y'all. We end up meeting and everything, son. But she was against your boy Tyrone and his beliefs. And I know y'all probably asking, yo, Tyrone, what's your belief, son? Well, I believe that every day you need to take a honey pack. Because I'm not going to cap when I was with her. My dick was on 10. But she thought your boy Tyrone was a weirdo, son. I mean, it's not my fault that my meat was happy to see her, son. So we was on a date, son, and this happened. Yo, Trinity, how you doing? Yo, Trinity, first and foremost, I just got to say, you look divine right now. I mean, young me, you look scrumptious right now. Um, right, yeah. Thank you. Anyways, I can't believe we had to wait so long to get in here. Yeah, I thought that your boy Tyrone made a reservation, but I'm not going to cap. I think I got high and I passed out. When I woke up, I had mad slobber on my face. <laughs> oh, I did a large girl. pizza got in my house. I don't know what the hell I did when I was asleep. Um, what? Anyways, yo, Trinity, yo, you ever heard of a honey pet? Then after that, she looked at me, smacked me in the face, and left. Like, I don't even know why she got so mad, son. I mean, my dick print was going crazy. That shit almost picked the table up, son. I'm just saying, <laughs> yo, Tyrone, will you shut the fuck up? Shut up, like, God damn, Anyways, yo, nigga. Enough of this water faucet talking ass, dude. I want to tell y'all about spit, some experiences that I've had this year. One was very recent. Now, I'm not going to cat. Your boy Sin be wanting to find love. I'm not going to lie. Down, I really do want love, but I want it to be genuine. I want it to be real. I want it real. to be something that doesn't feel forced or made up. I put a video out where I talked about my first, like, real heartbreak and how me and my ex aren't together anymore. And there was a lot of nice comments down there. One I saw from a shorty that I thought was attractive. So I'm not going to lie, I reached out to her. Me and her started talking a little bit. Now, I'll be honest. I'm not going to go into any real details on what happened between us. Just to protect her identity. You're weird. Weird You're weird. Like You're weird. Was it was a great experience, but Meanwhile. then it ended up being a really <laughs> shitty one. She flew out. We spent the weekend Good together. Job. It was mad cool. I had a lot of fun with her. And I don't want y'all to think that I didn't like this person. Because she was a really dope individual. 
but I feel like the same type of shit that I complained about in the beginning kind of played a factor in things. It took for me to talk about the things that I wanted for her to kind of tell me what she wanted and how her future looked. And it just didn't match up. And it's unfortunate because that's just going to happen sometimes. That's but so I feel like the same thing that me and her even talked about and complained about with how things move fast and people don't really be on the same page really because they be wanting different stuff and how dating doesn't really exist anymore. No. Play the factor in this. If you want a relationship, you just want on the same on, page, pause. even though I was super. Just pause. The girl be wanting a relationship. You be wanting just to, just to fuck. Or you be wanting to fuck. Or, or you be want a relationship and then the girls don't want to fuck. It, it never, it never line up, right? Or it, even when it does, the first day she's not feeling you, so it's like boom, it's, bro. It, it all, it's, it's all trial and error, bro. You gotta just keep going, bro. Cause honestly, I mean, I'm basically gonna get back into dating, but right now it's like, I think I'm good. I'll, I'll wait a little bit till I see someone that I'm like interested in, like, cause right now it's just been like. Eh. But yeah, it never lined up sometimes. You gotta just kinda like you gotta just rinse and repeat. It's the whole it's the whole thing, bro. It's like literally that's like the worst process about dating. It's the worst thing about dating is, is the is the dating part and then when it don't match up, y'all just split and then you go to the next person. Split. Next person. Split. It's like it's a cycle, bro. It's a cycle. Super transparent with what I wanted from the beginning. So it ended up just feeling like I got my time wasted. Because why did you wait until after you left to tell me, oh, all the things that you want and that you've been telling me you want? I don't want any of those things. Thank you. That's the type of shit I be talking about. Because what the fuck? Thank you, uh, bro. It don't make annoying. no sense. But again, she's a really awesome. Or. Let me not speak about situation. Let me not. Let me not do it. But, you know, bro, I'm feeling you. And then next day. Oh, I'm not feeling you anymore. Like. Come on, nigga. Mm. A person, so it didn't bother me at all. I went on a date a month or two ago. Hey, man. And it, that hey, was kind of weird, too. Because although, in theory, it seemed like the date would have been fun, it was a complete disaster. I thought I was being spontaneous, so I was like, oh, let's go to this arts and craft place, and we'll pick out some sort of pottery or something, and we'll paint it. Kind of like a ceramics thing. But we get there, and this happens. Damn, bruh, where is the art person at, bro? They're supposed to be here like 30 minutes ago. We've been waiting here mad long. Yeah, I don't really know. Oh, wait, is that her? Oh, God damn, bruh, 35 minutes late. Man, they're gonna have to deduct this or something. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, if you want to pick your ceramics up, we can sit down and we'll get started. Now, why does this sound Could like that? Ew, I don't know. It's kind of like Symphony that only has a few voices to use. I ain't gonna lie. You on dick right now. You on Yo, dick, on bro. Second, like, get off me, bro. Get off, bro. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. My phone kept going off during this situation, which I know could be rude in certain circumstances. But it wasn't me being rude in this situation. It was literally my little brother calling me because he needed me to answer a question that was pretty important. But she twisted it around like this. Oh, my God. Who's calling you? Must be one of your hoes. What? Oh. <laughs> I'm so sick of that. If I had, if I had a dollar for any, every, any bitch that would say that shit, bro. If I had a dollar for every bitch that said that shit, bro. Oh my god, I wouldn't be making videos, bro. I would not be making videos at all, bro. I swear to you, bro. Oh my god, bro. Stop. That's so annoying, bro. Like, it don't like. It's not all about women, bro. It's not all about bitches. Bro. Like, and whatever. What the fuck? What's she talking about? I got hoes. I don't even got no hoes. Oh. I mean, I got hoes, but like, she don't know that. I don't like that, bro. And sometimes it be like that, though. Sometimes it be like that. I didn't have any right to say that. Like, it's so weird. Know. It just weird. So makes shit awkward, by, bro. He ends up calling me again because he needed some more help. Oh, my God. Yo, this man caught me about 40 times today. Man, he better have shot his leg off or something. It's got to be something. It better be life or death. Oh, it's your brother again? <laughs> Whatever. What? I'm just saying, like, you keep getting calls and you're telling me it's your brother and then you go walk away to talk to him. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I honestly don't even think it's your brother. Like, if there's mm. other women in your life, you can just tell me that. What the fuck? 
Ain't and nobody lying. The that I have with dating, bro. How are you mad at me? Even if I was talking to other women, that doesn't make any sense. We're just dating. This is our first date. Exactly. That don't make sense. What type of time is you on right now? You out here on my meat. Clingy McClingerson. I mean, Clinger you, know, you gotta find a hobby or something. Talk about who calling you, who you talking like, to. Like, nigga, I got people. Hey, I'm important. Shit, I'm sorry, you know, I'm important. It's like people want to call me, nigga, damn. They don't got damn sense. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Dating sucks, bro. I feel like <laughs> nowadays, I just be getting my time wasted. And it's just like, I know that I gotta just be patient and shit like that. And I've never patient, had no man. issues getting dates. Like, I'm not an ugly dude. I'm not weird. I'm funny. I'm loving. It's just less about quantity of women and more about the quality. I feel like I just haven't found the right one. And that's, that's fun, what we need at 40 finding the right I swear. Honestly, communication. I swear to God. Time be be so, transparent. So, so. If you know from jump that you're not dating to potentially have a relationship and you know I am, then don't even talk to me. We could have avoided that whole situation. Yeah. Now I'm over here feeling like a goddamn sad puppy because like, I liked fuck. you and you didn't we even just want fuck, to say shit I did. Shit don't even make any damn sense. A little honesty goes a long way. That's all I'm saying. That shit suck. I be feeling down bad. Like, now I kind of know what it's like when they be like, touch grass. I be feeling like I got to touch it or something. Nah, I'm just playing, y'all. I be outside with it, but God damn. Please be outside. Dating hard. But y'all here feeling like there ain't no hope. But I ain't going to cap, though. I do got some hope because I know I'm going to be an amazing father, but an even greater husband to somebody that deserves the love I have to give. And I got a lot of it. Sometimes I like to make funny vids. And, you know, I cracked a joke or two in this, but on a real note, y'all, I want y'all to know, everybody that's listening, whether you're male, female, whatever you identify as, that love is out there for you. And maybe you don't want it right now. Maybe you don't need it right now. But at some point, you'll find it. Don't give up on that shit. I know I haven't. And I mean, hey, at least y'all got me. You might not have a partner that loves you right now, but your boy Symphony do. We family, y'all. Hey, we uh, 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 take y'all out on a date, man or woman. I got y'all. Because I be going on friend dates too, y'all. Take your ass to David Buster's. David I'm just Buster? saying. Yo, that's facts, son. Yo, see, you try to go on a date, son? Yo, Tyrone. Facts, I am. Oh, never mind. I'm going to say like chill. That. Hey, yeah. Hey, you want to be a really cool person? And <laughs> oh, that was a good video. That was good. I like that. Nah, just be like, damn, this is kind of like. I swear, like, when it comes to dating apps, I would say it's really hit or miss. Because I have friends that are literally the best. Like, they, they have no problem getting, like, getting responses and, and, like, dates and whatnot and people and whatnot. But, like, for me personally, it was just like, eh, then dropping, eh, and dropping, eh. Like, it just, everything, was, everything kept complicating things. So, it was just, I don't know. That's me personally, though. But, I mean, I, I would recommend you try it. Just try it at least. See if it works for you because it might. You never know. But, yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this video, reaction, like it, please. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get the views up. Uh, Share, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And until then, I'll see y'all niggas.